USS Zumwalt, DDG-1000, the flagship of the Zumwalt-class stealth destroyers, is undergoing transformative modifications at Huntington Ingalls Industries Shipyard in Pascagoula, Mississippi. This ambitious upgrade will equip the vessel with a conventional prompt strike, CPS missile system, marking a pivotal milestone in U.S. naval capabilities as the first warship capable of deploying hypersonic weapons. The CPS upgrade entails replacing the ship's original advanced gun system, AGS, with four large diameter missile tubes, each housing three hypersonic missiles, for a total of 12 per ship. This transformation positions the USS Zumwalt as a cornerstone of the United States' effort to achieve precision-guided global strike capabilities within a one-hour window. Huntington Ingalls Industries, HI, has played a key role in modernizing the Zumwalt class. Under a $154.8 million contract awarded in 2023, HI has overseen the integration of the CPS system and the installation of advanced MK-57 vertical launch systems. These upgrades are part of a broader modernization initiative fueled by nearly $1 billion in infrastructure investments. The CPS program, an evolution of the Prompt Global Strike Initiative, leverages cutting-edge technologies, including hypersonic glide vehicles and missile systems capable of exceeding Mach 5. Designed to address rapid response scenarios, CPS expands the United States' options for non-nuclear strategic strikes. Notable milestones in this program include tests of the Advanced Hypersonic Weapon in 2011 and the Common Hypersonic Glide Body in 2020. However, these advancements come at a cost. Producing and maintaining 300 hypersonic missiles over 20 years is projected to cost $18 billion, averaging $60 million per missile. While critics question the cost-effectiveness of these weapons, proponents highlight their unmatched range and precision, which provide a decisive advantage in contested environments. Launched in the 1990s as part of the DD-21 program, the Zumwalt-class destroyers were envisioned as multi-mission warships for land attack and anti-surface warfare. With a displacement of 14,564 tons and a 600-foot length, the USS Zumwalt is powered by an integrated power system generating 78 megawatts, allowing speeds of 33.5 knots. The ship's stealthy design and automation enable reduced radar detection and a smaller crew size. Initially armed with a now-defunct AGS for long-range land attack, the vessel has shifted focus to surface warfare, equipped with 80 MK-57 peripheral vertical launch system cells capable of deploying a variety of missiles. The United States' efforts to modernize the USS Zumwalt reflect a broader strategic imperative to keep pace with competitors such as Russia and China. Both nations have made significant strides in hypersonic weapons development. China's DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle and Russia's Avangard system exemplify advancements that challenge global strategic stability. To counter these threats, the U.S. Navy is not only developing hypersonic systems but also reinforcing its missile defenses and precision strike capabilities. The modernization of Zumwalt-class destroyers represents a significant step in this direction, combining cutting-edge technology with operational versatility. The USS Zumwalt's transformation into a hypersonic-capable warship underscores the United States' commitment to maintaining strategic dominance in an era of rapidly evolving military technology. As the first naval platform to deploy hypersonic weapons, the Zumwalt sets a precedent for future innovations in naval warfare, ensuring that the U.S. Navy remains at the forefront of global maritime security.